Welcome to the Will Muschamp Show. It's our open date edition at the Midway Point. The Gamecocks are two and four in the season. Coach, because of Hurricane Matthew, the Gamecocks played on Sunday last week, and therefore we hadn't been able to talk about Georgia. After you reviewed the film, what are your thoughts on the ball game? Well, we just, we've got to clean some things up. Obviously, we need to improve on the offensive side of the ball. Having the ability to run the football better, which in the open week, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, third down has been a killer for us. We're at 27%. Uh, we can't maintain drives and stay on the field when you can't convert on third down. And it's been several issues within our offense of what we need to do. Defensively, uh, just got to play blocks and get off blocks. We, we knew going into the game, they were going to get a hat on a hat in the run game. You got to defeat blocks and you got to tackle. And we didn't do it consistently through the game. We had 10 runs for 100, 10 runs for 180 yards. We had another 40 for 130, which is a three yard average, which is what we want. So at the end of the day, it's the consistency of our performance of what we need to do. The field position killed us, obviously. Uh, the late punt return, we don't field. Uh, but the field position in the game, the three turnovers hurt us. And, 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 you know, we were on a short field most of the day. I compliment our players for their effort because they played extremely hard. I talked to our guys about football intelligence, FBI. We've got to play smarter in, in some situational football. Coach, at the midway point in the season, it's hard to believe. Rico Dowdle was the 18th first-time starter that you've played this season so far. Is it hard to work with those guys to get them to improve and to support them at the same time? Because you're fragile as a first-time starter. There's no question about it. Well, a lot of our issue, especially on the offensive side of the ball, is, is lack of continuity. At the receiver position, at tight end, you really Hayden Hurst is a freshman as far as playing the position is concerned. Casey Crosby is a freshman as far as playing the position. Uh, you know, A.J. Turner and Rico Dow. So those guys are all learning as we go against really good teams. And that's, that, that's, that makes it very difficult. It also, at the quarterback position, we're still a little unsettled. And that's made it, made it very difficult on Kurt Roper and our offensive staff. Um, how about on our Palmetto Health injury report? Midway through, you are always got some injuries. How's the teams doing? Well, I'm hoping to get Donnell Stanley back. Uh, Blake Camper has been slowed a little bit by the ankle, but I think he's going to be okay. John Walton had a, had a knee scope uh, in, the, in the open week and should be fine. I don't think it's going to be anything that lingers on. Uh, hope to get Rendricus Davis back in about two weeks. Uh, other than that, we, we're doing pretty well. When we come back on the Will Muschamp Show, highlights from williams Price Stadium of the Georgia Bulldogs. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there, and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Witness pregame warmups from the sidelines. Winners receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise. Visit USCContest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. My new friends went online and challenged me to find their perfect match. So, let's see how we did. <laughs> we look good together. I think I'm in love. Nice job, matchmaker. Thanks. With everything Ford has to offer, power and performance, smart technology, and five-star safety, it's easy to see why Ford is America's favorite brand. Now, get zero for 72 on a well-equipped 2016 F-150 or Super Duty. Make a connection at your Carolina Ford dealer today. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. 
Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back to the Will Muschamp Show. It's an open date, but we've got highlights. This week's highlights presented to you by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. We go back to the Sunday game, first time since 19. 19- 46 coach, the Georgia Bulldogs are in town. Well, we start the game there. We misfit the power play. Uh, give them credit. They got a hat on a hat. Uh, they hit us there. We you know, don't play the draw very well. Darius needs to sit on the line of scrimmage. We don't. We misfit it from the secondary, uh, from the top down, and, and, uh, and not, not starting the game the way we needed to start it here. And then they get second one. They execute the power extremely well. We had a guy at the point of attack. We got to get him on the ground. Our three technique got displaced. It created a huge hole for us. Uh, coming back here on third down in our red zone, we can't have turnovers. And uh, right there, you got to check the ball down, take it underneath. They sunk underneath of it. Uh, run the draw play outside, we lose contain. Uh, you got to stay on the edge against the back like Michelle. Uh, but we get him out on the one yard line. We actually played very well on the goal line as far as striking and playing up front. Uh, they get it in here on third down. Uh, barely got it in, but but again, our guys are playing hard. We've given the defense some short fields. We got to get something going offensively. We got we got a decent play looks like here, and then we call off the ball up on the option play, and you know we need to get our guys in the pile and get the ball back. That's the most important thing. Three turnovers in the first half of this ball game has put the Gamecocks in the hole, but it's still only 14 nothing. Well, our guys are playing extremely hard, especially on the defensive side right there. Darius English and big sack for us right here, a third down situation. Uh, we got really good coverage. Again, Chris Lamont works himself in phase and plays the ball outstanding out of phase play there actually in playing the ball. The play action here, we hit Debo on the seven cut. Really nice throw by Perry and, and really tight coverage there. And Debo comes up with a catch, gets his feet down. So we get a little momentum going here right before half. And, and then we fumble the ball. And we got a nice gainer in the inside zone there. It's going to be a six or seven yard gain. And we cough it up. A little bit of a mishap on the, the, uh, the handoff. But it's a 14 nothing game at halftime. And we've played as poorly as we could play. And it's a 14 point game. And that's what we talked to our kids about. Again, they, they do a nice job getting a hat on a hat. We got a linebacker dead in the hole. You got to make a tackle. But you see our guys battling, trying to get there. And then we cause a turnover here. Nice job. Tavares Robinson checks us out of a blitz, goes to a coverage situation. We get a tip ball at Antoine Wilder. Uh, gets the interception. Great play by Jamarcus King, knocking the ball off off the intended receiver. So now our fans are back in it. Uh, our kids are feeling pretty good about it. Again, very well thrown ball in the deep ball here to Debo. Uh, getting him back changes the way people play us. So that's a, a huge play. And you see right there a contested ball. Really nice catch on the sideline. He had four catches for 90 yards on the day and all uh, two of them over 30 yards. Now the ground game coming back and here's Rico Dowdle. Fourth and one situation, we're going to go for it, and then we want to get Debo on the perimeter a little bit. Very well blocked. Jacob August makes a nice block right there. Uh, they cornered Cat. They brought the corner off the edge there, and we were able to pick up the – and you see Debo straining. He's very strong in his lower body. Uh, he's a guy that uh, really, really a lot of want to right there. Here we are, first and ten. Uh, coming back, they run the power play. Again, we, we, we just got to play blocks better, much better up front and uh, getting off blocks and making tackles and – uh, hit it again on the, the uh, stretch play outside when they pull the center. Uh, they get the ball down back inside. And again, this was on some critical uh, issues as far as field position. We get him to third down, which can't back in the end zone. We really got to bang this guy to two-yard line and make him run the route through us. We give him too much cushion, and he's able to create some separation. But proud of our guys coming back and answering right here on fourth and six. You see Hayden's uh, probably leading the SEC as far as tight ends and re- receptions. Uh, but battles right there. You see our guys continuing to battle down the field. A uh, really nice job on fourth and one, the inside zone well blocked. Rico gets a good push there in the, in the middle of the defense. We come back and uh, run the seven cut to Hayden. We get the P.I. Uh, down in the end zone right there, moves the ball closer to the end zone. We go back to the inside zone and uh, really well blocked. Allen Knight sees the linebacker coming through the A-gap. And then we get the onside kick situation. Got to do a better job off the backside. Uh, really, the kick needs to go 10 yards. We've got to get it further. This was disappointing to end the game this way, but a seven-point game with a minute 40 to go and as, as poorly as we had played. Coach, one of the things that we didn't see there was not necessarily a highlight for the Gamecocks, but goodness gracious, when we had it cut to seven, there was a punt. Hayden Hurst back there is in his first game. He's trying to do that. The ball hits the ground and rolls down inside the five-yard line. You had four series 
and start inside your own 10. And I know you talked to Hayden about that, but that was a key point in the ball game. No doubt. I mean, you, the, the vertical field position in the game is so critical, especially right now with where we are offensively. We're struggling to stay on the field and create drives and create scores. So now you're back on your five-yard line, and that's very difficult to do. Uh, the Gamecocks fall to the Georgia Bulldogs 28-14 to when we come back on the Will Muschamp Show. Our own Tommy Suggs visits with our offensive coordinator, Kurt Roper. Invited to the official watch party at Steve Tanny Hill's Group Therapy. There will be drawings for great prizes, drink specials, and former Gamecock football players to watch the game with. Over the last 10 years, Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation has awarded more than $20 million to first responders and public safety organizations across the country. More than one million of that has gone to organizations in the state of South Carolina. Between now and the Georgia game, each time you visit a Columbia area Firehouse Subs and round up while paying, you'll make a contribution to first responders. What does No Limits mean to me? Cultivating bold thinkers. Connecting students to the global economy. A commitment to life-changing discovery. Improving healthcare for everyone, young and old. An amazing student experience. Academic excellence across campus. What does No Limits mean to me? Where do I begin? Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. My new friends went online and challenged me to find their perfect match. So, let's see how we did. <laughs> we look good together. I think I'm in love. Nice job, matchmaker. Thanks. With everything Ford has to offer, power and performance, smart technology, and five-star safety, it's easy to see why Ford is America's favorite brand. Now, get zero for 72 on a well-equipped 2016 F-150 or Super Duty. Make a connection at your Carolina Ford dealer today. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that Safe Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. Welcome back to the South Carolina Football Show. My name is Tommy Suggs and I'm uh, the neighbor of our offensive coordinator, who is our special guest today, Kurt Rober, and we're glad to have uh, you here and your entire family. Kurt, welcome to the University of South Carolina Gamecock football program in Columbia. Thank you. We're really enjoying it. It's close to my wife's family. We love being in the South. We love being in South Carolina, and we couldn't have found a better place to live. They should have just told me I was going to be living next to you first. <laughs> Would that have kept you from coming here? That's what I'm worried about. But why Carolina and Columbia? I mean, I know you and I have talked about it over here at our home a couple of times, but you guys had a real, I guess, passion for getting here. Sure. I think any time you're a football coach, you look for opportunities where you can, you can go win. And I think the opportunities uh, arise in places that have passionate fan bases that, that obviously have the resources to provide to recruit and, and coach at, at the highest level that you possibly can. So really it was simply, I thought, a, a job that we had a chance to win and, and achieve a lot of goals. Let's talk a little bit about, about Coach Muschamp. Um, you guys, you went to Florida, left Duke, went to Florida for one year. Right. Didn't work out, right. um, but you guys stayed in contact. He got the job here, which I think is a wonderful hire, and here you are. Um, Will Muschamp, I don't know him that well, but a great guy, seems to be hard worker, put a great staff together. I, you know, I was fortunate to spend that year with him in Florida, learned a lot uh, of different thoughts and uh, ways to run a program, really enjoyed it. He is very intelligent. He's a guy that if you tell him something, he remembers it and, 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 uh, and he'll remember it forever. So you have to be careful what you say, uh, but very intelligent, 
I don't know that anybody works harder than him that I've ever been around, uh, especially in recruiting, but, but in all phases. But, but uh, you know, each day I go to work, I think I, I get better because I'm around him. His intensity is, is what you see. It's that way on the practice fields. Uh, you have those demands that you have to meet from him, and, and I enjoy that. I think that's how you, you get better as a program and you win as a, as a football team. Let's talk a little bit about this year's team. Right. Very frustrating offensively. You came into here, a lot of young talent, not a lot of depth. Then all of a sudden you get decimated with injuries. Well, you know, we obviously have to play better, and that's the responsibility of, of the staff. And, and, uh, and, you know, obviously I understand that. And, and our goal right now is to say, okay, what do we do good? Who can actually go out and do it? And, and then go out and implement that. And, and if we can just get better every day in practice and week to week then, and give ourselves a chance to win, then I think we're, we're doing our job. And, and nobody really uh, worries about anybody's uh, problems. You know, on Saturday when they put the ball on the tee, they kick it off and, and our responsibility is to, to go win a football game. So that's our challenge each week that, that we accept. And, and, uh, and I think our guys, I really enjoy working with uh, the guys on the staff. I think the players on the team, are, are um, they work hard. They enjoy the physical nature of our practices. And, and I think they take the challenge to get better each week. It's hard to replace experience, though, isn't it, with young people. I mean, they're, they can be very talented, but unless they've been there under the lights, it's just different. Well, what you find out as a coach is that you can't cover every detail that might happen in a football game. And, and that experience handles a lot of those scenarios that have come up. And, and so as time goes on, these young players that are talented, that are, are good football players, they'll learn some of these things. And, and we'll, you'll see us improve as a team going on. Coach Kurt Roper, Britt, Reese, Luke, great <laughs> neighbors folks. Glad to have you in Columbia as a Gamecock football coach and part of our family and particularly as our neighbors. We'll be back after these messages. Now at Buy Low, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Buy Low and pick up all of your game day essentials. Buy Low, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Good hard work has earned Kayla Davis the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's basketball team, Davis is a junior, integrated information technology major with a 3.636 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. 
2016 home opener. Turner slides over to the far sideline, takes it at the 2, at the 10, 15, 20, gets a good block, 25, 30. Turner open at the 35, 40. Turner trying to outrun him at the 50, the 40, the 35, 30. They got him from behind and drag him down. Oh, what a way to light it up, to open up. Here at williams Bay Stadium. Welcome back. That's our Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Coach, way to get started in a ball game where you've been struggling offensively is to have yourself a 75, 80-yard kickoff return, and A.J. Turner supplied that against East Carolina. Really well blocked. Uh, we had taught, really challenged our guys about starting fast, uh, home opener, and uh, nothing that got our crowd going more than that than that return and then scoring and you know within two plays after that. So really proud of that. That's our uh, play of the game, Sandsbury Eye Center play of the first half of the season. Now our Terminex Pest player for the first half of the season. Coach, you picked out a defender, Darius English. Well, I'm really proud of Darius. Here he is, a senior, going through a coaching change, uh, did not really go through spring with a hip injury. Really, we were uncertain about what we had. You don't work with somebody, you're not really sure. And uh, what a fantastic year he's had for us. Pass rush was an issue coming into the season. He's second in the league in sacks. And uh, really proud of how he's approached everything, how he practices every day, how he goes about his meetings. He takes notes. He's a very studious player as far as the things we, he's got to do to improve himself. And I'm uh, really proud of him. Darius English, six sacks on the season. As Coach said, second in the Southeastern Conference. Hey, it's time for our Hyundai Sights and Sounds. Let me tell you something. It may have been a loss against Georgia, but after that hurricane, we're always thankful to be at williams Bryce Stadium, and it was a gorgeous day. Check out the Hyundai Sights and Sounds. Now, it's time for this week's Hyundai Sights and Sounds of Game Day. The citizens of the Palmetto State and Georgia are rallying behind the efforts to recover from the storm. Today, for the 69th time, an old rivalry is renewed. Hurricane Matthew swept through the southeast this weekend, forcing the first Sunday contest at williams Bryce Stadium since 1946. It's Carolina versus Georgia. And all of the department's hard work to help make today's game happen. Come on this way as Elliott Fry runs up to the 35, kicks off. Port out of the shotgun, sweeping right side, Debo Samuel to five, the three, spinning at the two. Touchdown, Carolina! Battle, gonna run it up the middle, got it, touchdown, Carolina! Standing touchdown, up. Touchdown, Rico Dowdle. The final score today, Georgia 28, Carolina 14. Now, Gamecocks everywhere can support their beloved university year-round at the USC Alumni Center. Our spirit capital is the place to support student learning, connect to each other, and advocate for Carolina, no matter where you are in the world. Alumni, students, faculty, staff, and fans, we are ready to welcome you home. Visit mycarolina.org and stay connected forever to be. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! I'm Clay Matthews, and I'm good at football. And so is Verizon, because now you can watch every live, local, and primetime game on your phone with NFL Mobile, exclusively on Verizon, all without using your data. That's better than good. It's the best. And I'm the best. Watch live NFL games, NFL Red Zone, and more with NFL Mobile, all in HD, only on America's best network. Good or better? 
the Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back to the Will Muschamp Show. It's the open date edition. And Coach, uh, everybody kind of has their different schedule. It's the first time I've ever talked to you about your open date and what you like to do. How much do you work with the guys? How much do you look ahead to the next team? And how much do you rest them? You got to rest them as well. Well, playing on Sunday because of the hurricane. And again, I want to thank our crowd for the Sunday crowd was amazing. But uh, we gave our players off on Monday unless they had treatment. We practiced Tuesday more of a corrections practice from the game. And we took our younger guys in scrimmage. Yeah. And we got a lot of work done. And then really Wednesday and Thursday, we worked on uh, us. We need to work on South Carolina. And we're going to give them Friday and Saturday off, and then we'll start for UMass on Sunday like we would be for a normal game week. We as a staff went recruiting Thursday and Friday and, uh, and obviously worked on UMass to get the game plan ready. We also looked ahead as a staff a little bit for Tennessee, you know, in some of the games down the road. Yeah, midway through, that is a good way to look at the second half of the season and self-evaluation. Boy, so many young players have played in the first half of the season. Coach, as you take those players, work through the midseason now, UMass is up on the schedule as of next what do you know about the Minutemen? They've taken some bigger teams to uh, late in the ball game. Well, you know, it's a one-score game against Florida down in the swamp. It's a, a really tight game with Mississippi State. So, so I, we need to play well, but we need to worry about South Carolina. We, we need to improve our football team, especially on the offensive side of the ball, continue to take steps forward uh, to, to, to be more efficient in what we do. We've talked about third down. Those are the things we've emphasized, running the ball better. Uh, defensively playing blocks, getting off blocks, limiting some of the big plays that we had in the run game uh, in our last ball game. Coach, it's time for our Toyota keys to the game, but at the midseason and our open date, uh, Toyota, don't forget, let's go places. It's better to ask you about what you do to try to improve your program when you're midway through the season. You just mentioned a few things for the next ball game on what to do. What, what can you do when you're just looking with the youth that you're playing with right now and trying to, to improve your team in the middle of the season? Well, I told our football team after the Georgia game, it's about winning now and it's about getting bowl eligible. That's the most important thing. So every decision we make in the organization is about winning now. On the offensive side of the ball, we've struggled. So you can't continue to do the same things and expect different results. So we're going to make some changes offensively, uh, some subtle changes schematically, but personnel-wise, we really got to study ourselves and, and make, some, make some tough decisions. The Gamecocks, two and four in the season, but the second half is coming. We appreciate you being with us on the Will Muschamp Open Date Show. We'll see you after the UMass game.